Hello, my name is Mandy Reid and I'm the Collection Manager for Malacology here at the Australian Museum. Malacology is a study of mollusks and this group includes squids, cuttlefish, octopus, snails and their relatives. Our museum collections are like a library except we have animals rather than books. The reason we keep collections is so that we and researchers from around the world can study them. In that way, we can find out what species we have here and how they're related to each other. I'll show you some of the cephalopods that I'm particularly interested in at the moment. This is a little pygmy squid called Idiosepius and it's a new species and I'm describing this species and working with Jan Strugnall from La Trobe University. Jan's doing the molecular work, the DNA sequencing, and I'm doing the morphology. That species will be getting a new name very soon. And these are very tiny. That's as big as they get. They're adults and they live in seagrass beds and they attach to seagrass blades with an, a little adhesive pad on the back of the upper side of their body and um, that's led to one of my colleagues here coining the name Suckerbum Squid and that's quite apt, an apt name for these species. Another cephalopod that I'm really interested in is the giant Australian cuttlefish. They're much prettier when they're alive, but we have to preserve them so that we can study their anatomy. And these are really quite common around Sydney, but a lot of people don't know that they're just outside our front door. There we are, and these are preserved in alcohol. Strain that off a little bit. And I'll show you the cuttle bone. The cuttle bone sits here in the body of the animal and it's used as a flotation device. And you might be familiar with these because they get washed up on beaches after the cuttlefish spawn and die. I'm sort of thinking that maybe there's more than one species of these, but the sorts of things we look at as taxonomists is, I count all the suckers on the arms, which can be a bit of a fiddle, do measurements, and, and this one is called the club, and that's what the cuttlefish uses to catch its prey. So normally, the club's on the end of the tentacle and it sits inside a pouch between the arms, and when they want to catch something, they shoot out this club and grab it with these suckers, and they've got little tiny teeth and they, they've got little suction discs on there. I'm working on these with a colleague, Annie Lindgren, in Portland, from Portland in Oregon in the USA. A lot of people ask me how long do cephalopods live for? A lot of them, particularly the shallow water ones, only live for about a year or two and after that time they reach maturity and they breed and then they die. Some of the deep water ones, particularly those that live in cold water, can live for much longer. Um, and recently some people published some work about a deep water octopus that lived for four and a half years.